was voted the sexiest man of 2016? Well, you'll have to watch Stream On to find out. TV. Welcome back, friends. I'm your host, Brooke Bergseller, here to deliver you all of what's been happening across the web today. And we're going to get started with your favorite social media platform, Facebook, or as I love to call it, Bocce Book. Our top trending story coming from Facebook today, super interesting, everyone's favorite dating app, Tinder, is now offering over 37 different gender options. That's right, you guys. They're now serving up a transgender female option, transsexual male, agender, and gender queer, as well as the opportunity to write in your own term for all of you who like to get especially creative about your genitals. Now, they're working in part with GLAAD as well as their other transgender users to make sure that they can avoid harassment on Tinder for people who have different sexual orientations. So I think this is absolutely great. Are you guys on Twinder? Twinder? And if you are, then please swipe right for me because I could use an ego boost right about now. I certainly could. But you know who doesn't really need an ego boost? Is Conan O'Brien. That man, bless him. Man, I know he's married and happy, but God, I love Conan O'Brien so much. So he just had another episode of Clueless Gamer, and this week he featured Elijah Wood. That's right, you guys. They played Final Fantasy 15 together, and this was actually nearly a decade after Final Fantasy first came out. And if my math is correct, then that is more than one Final Fantasy per year over the past 10 years. That's super crazy. Now, Conan O'Brien, for his part, seemed to uh, not be that into the game, but Elijah was rather impressive, which makes me think he's probably played this before. Are you guys playing Final Fantasy? I want to know what games you're playing, and you can also catch the stream.tv playing video games on Twitch for all of you Twitchers out there. But before you check us out over there, I'm going to toss it on over to Zeusical, the musical. Zeus, who's talking about Conan and Elijah on Facebook? A lot of people, Brooke. Thank you very much. Um, so we have a couple of users we want to shout out on Facebook that are talking about this story. Uh, we got my man Robert Bartham, uh, Mel B, Michael Finney, Juan Luquin. All right, good job, Juan. Sorry about the fence. Trump is president now. And finally, our com our commentator, uh, Solid Solidae Troyo. I probably messed your name up. Like my comment anyway. Uh, he said Elijah's body and face forgot they had to grow old. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm sure your face is young. I like Elijah. I think, you know, he's aging gracefully. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the people that's talking about it. Back to you, bro. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Elijah Wood is 35 years old, and I do have to agree with our commenter that he does look ridiculously youthful. But um, you know what? I guess he's just drinking the juice, right, you guys? Now, another story coming from the land of tech is that soon you'll only have to charge your phone every three months. What is happening? Well, apparently researchers at the University of Michigan and Cornell have created this special material called magnoelectric multiferroic. And I'm certainly messing that up, but do I look like a scientist, you guys? No, certainly not. So right now, our computers and our technology uses a constant stream of electricity, but this new material will allow you to just have quick pulses of electricity, meaning that you have to charge your shit less, which is super exciting. Also in this same story, was the research that by 2030, it said that 90% of our global energy consumption will be due to electronic gadgets. So just get your priorities straight, planet Earth. Get your priorities straight. But you know who's got their priorities perfectly straight? Is Richard Branson, Virgin America's CEO and mastermind, has now created a mini Concorde jet that will take you from New York to London in three and a half hours. What? Now the Amazon CEO, his name is Blake Scholl. He was one of the other people that was helping this project get underway. So kind of exciting stuff for all of you extraordinarily wealthy travelers out there. And speaking of extraordinarily wealthy and sexy, it's 2016 sexiest man of the year, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Ooh, that's right. He went to my college, so I have a special place in my heart for him. So he is a former wrestler turned celebrity a lister he's in tons of movies right now across the board he was just on an hbo show this man's career is only only just begun and he's already impressed the world with everything so i have to say i love the dude so very very much 
What do you guys think about Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Do you think he should have been the sexiest man of the year? Let us know in the comments below and head on over to our Facebook page. Let us know what stories were your favorite here today. What's trending in your world at the Stream TV? Kelly, you have to count me in. I here is what everyone is talking about in the Twitterverse. Are you guys on Twitter? Well, I would love to hear from you guys over there. You can find us at the Stream TV. And here is what our first tweeter at Llama Duke had to say about our trending tag, Jordy Shore. And if you guys aren't watching Jordy Shore, it's basically England's version of the Jersey Shore. And it's so funny. So our first tweeter said, truth is out. Jordy Shore's script has been leaked. Wouldn't mind if they were decent actors. Need to ax this show. So this is a reality show that's obviously scripted. And all of England is awry with the news. Our next tweeter, Lauren68XO, said, Marnie needs to stop playing victim, absolute tart, hashtag Jordy Shore. So for all of our American viewers out there, do you know what the Jordy Shore is? I've known about this show forever. It's been on the air long after the Jersey Shore got the act, so I'm wondering why this one's still playing. But you know what? Maybe you can inform me. Maybe you can inform me while I inform you of our next trending hashtag, which is what my refrigerator says about me. Now, our first tweeter at Cherie said, what my refrigerator says about me. I think I'm buying organic vegetables, but when I get home, it turns out to be just regular donuts. <laughs> I love that so much. Happens to me all the time, Cherise. And our next tweeter, at Nurse Goda said, it's whimsical to have seven kinds of expired mustard. What my refrigerator says about me. Certainly some type of whimsy, Goda, certainly. Our next trending tag is none other than The Flash. So The Flash was on last night, and I would love to hear from all of my Flash fans out there. Our first tweeter, D. Panabaker, Panabaker, said, don't do it, Wally, hashtag The Flash. And our next tweeter, at Devin A. Briggs, said, watch me with the kid Flash tonight. Well, they meant last night because The Flash was on, but if you guys want to see more of The Flash and hear what we have to say about the show, check out our DCTV uh, live stream show every Friday at 1 p.m. And for now, I'm going to dish up our last trending hashtag from Twitter for you guys, which was The Voice Results. Are you guys watching The Voice? So, of course, Miley Cyrus is one of our judges. And our first tweeter at Gosnia tweeted at Miley Cyrus saying, I really love Ali, a strong, dynamic song, sultry, soulful voice. What do you guys think about Ali from The Voice? And next up, our tweeter Peaches, 6711 giant number code, said to Blake Shelton, voice results, love your team this season. Whose team are you guys on, all of my tweeters out there? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below, or you can send us a little tweet. Use the hashtag The Voice and The Stream TV. Give us a follow at The Stream TV. the jam y'all and if you're not on Instagram then please get an account right now because no other platform will provide you with such beautiful pictures including one Instagram account that is my mother's for my dog one day I'll share that with you guys but for now I'm gonna share with you this absolutely amazing Instagram profile at passenger shaming and here's our first picture so these pictures are provided by people on airplanes or by stewardesses and they encounter the weirdest of situations like this kid who decided to cover his seat in stickers or this next picture of someone who's obviously urinated in a plastic bag. That poor stewardess. Oh my God. And finally, a man blatantly changing in the aisles in the middle of broad daylight, making everyone feel extra uncomfortable and wishing they had sprung for those first class tickets. Am I right? Now our next Instagram account for you guys is super awesome. It's called you did not eat that. And I'm not entirely sure. Okay, here's our first picture. I'm not entirely sure if this profile is like really, really mean, but their whole premise, uh, the user says, speaking the truth in this mixed up world of too many macaroons and ice cream cones used as props because really you did not eat that. So here's our next picture of Beyonce, presumably after her wedding with a giant burger in her hands. And this account likes to say Beyonce, you did not eat that. And finally, our last picture from You Did Not Eat That, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, 
Kardashian enjoying ice cream cones, but like, did they really enjoy ice cream cones? Well, I don't really know. I don't really know the answer, but maybe you guys know the answer. So let us know, and if there's any of your favorite profiles on Instagram, please send them my way, or maybe it's your own, and we'll feature you here on Stream On. And you can check us out on IG at the Stream TV. Do do do. Oh, but you know what? <laughs> I almost forgot that I have the beautiful <laughs> top rope Zeus in the house. So Zeus is here today. He's going to tell us a little bit about what's happening, what's trending in the world of relationships online. Zeus, I know you found some magic on the web. So what is your story for us today? Thank you, Brooke. You look like you smell amazing, by the way. <laughs> okay, so we all know that dating has been, the internet is a crazy place for dating. Everybody knows that. Dating websites have just completely taken over the way that we meet people. There's even something called the rule of 34, which is an internet rule that literally says if it exists, then there's probably a porn site for it. But before I get you guys fired at work for watching porn, and I know some of you are already on your last strike, let me give you some dating sites that are work friendly, but are very strange dating sites, but actually exist. These are my top five dating websites that actually exist. All right, number one, diapermates.com. Yes, diapermates.com. So these are for people who like to dress like babies and get freaky in diapers. I'm not here to judge, I'm just here to understand, but this is a place where you can meet each other and you can don't have to meet in each other's creepy basements or at local daycare centers anymore. So that's exciting. Also, tip, I think if you guys are really into this Huggies thing, I think you should get Huggies to sponsor maybe like a speed dating event or maybe slash catering. Just something to think about branding. <laughs> Number two, clowndating.com. This is for people who like to dress like clowns and want to have sex with other people that are dressed like clowns. This, you know, this site really doesn't, okay, here's the model, here's the model. Their motto is, everybody loves a clown, so why not let a clown love you? Sounds real rapey, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know who approved this site, doesn't, the, the whole like lingo doesn't make me feel safe. But I will say that the concept of having sex with people with big noses that wear wigs and a lot of makeup, I know a lot of people that's been doing that for years. So, moving on, uh, number three, candobetter.com. I fucking love this site. Okay, this site is so messy. This site is basically, in order to get into the site, you have to send a picture of you and your significant other, send a picture, and the members of the group have to vote which one of you can do better. So if it goes to you, then you get in the group. But it could go south, and the other person, because they could say they could do better. So be careful with that one. Number four, herpesfish.com. <sighs> All right, the name makes me itch. I'm gonna be real honest, all right? I, I think it's great that it's bold and to the point so there's no misleading, but I'm gonna be honest. The name herpesfish.com looks real bad on your phone on the app, okay? Somebody use your phone, your mom or your dad, now you got some explaining to do. But it is 650 people signed on this website, so let's not, you know, throw away the condoms yet. Let's keep them on nice and tight. No going yogi, guys, in 2017. <laughs> uh, number five, the finally, it is furrymate.com. This is a website for people that like to dress like mascots and dress in cartoons, costumes, and they like to dry hump each other or have sex. So I think that's amazing. I think this is site, I think this site is for people that have been married for too damn long. Their <laughs> kids are grown out of the house. You've been having sex for 30 years, you're bored. I think I can dig it in about 30 years. You know what I mean? Like, fuck, my kids are grown. I've hit it in every angle I possibly can. So let me dress up like Cookie Monster with my weapon hanging out. Let's have some fun. So these are your top five websites. Let us know if we missed any weird webs dating websites that you might know of. Leave a comment in the box down below. I throw it back to my light-skinned co-anchor, Miss Brooke Bernstein. <laughs> God, that was so horrifying, but also very exciting. I am certainly going to make my clown dating profile active again because I already existed and now I feel like you've really given me the freedom to just be honest about it. Just be honest that I am a paying member of that website. Well, thank you again, Zeusicle, for all of that. Again, he said comment below to stay in the conversation, friends. And don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube to the stream.tv. And speaking of YouTube, let's see what are the hottest videos of the day. Okay, some very interesting facts, in case you guys didn't know this, 62% of YouTube users are men, which if you kind of piece everything together, what types of videos they're probably watching, it can start to make sense, but you know, statistics are worth mentioning. So one other video that is actually worth mentioning, if you ask me, was by Barcroft TV, 
who featured the man with a million dollar Hot Wheels collection. What have you done with your life lately? Well, I guess you're not collecting Hot Wheels enough. So the dude's name is Bruce Pascal, and he said that he started collecting them since he was seven years old. He has over 3,500 of them, including one particular Hot Wheels car that is worth $150,000. It's this pink car, and <laughs> there you go, there it is. It's this pink Volkswagen beach bomber car, and uh, that is worth more than me. That's worth more than me right now. So thanks so much, Bruce. Also in this video, I learned that the creator of Hot Wheels was married to the inventor of the Barbie. How crazy, what a successful fam, right? Well, another successful YouTube channel that has over 1 million subscribers, and hopefully 1 million and one once you subscribe, is It's Okay to Be Smart. And from their video, I learned the surprising origin of Thanksgiving foods. So here's something really interesting that you definitely didn't know earlier, that corn has come a really long way. It used to be a different vegetable, you guys. 9,000 years ago, it used to be called teosinte, and it looks totally different than what we're eating now, but farmers and scientists have like really mutilated and made specific what we want our corn to be today, so that's why we have these beautiful, yellow, super sweet, crunchy vegetables that you have at your Thanksgiving dinner. So uh, give them a follow, give them a little subscribe over on the tube, and our next video that you guys are gonna trip out over. I absolutely lost my mind when I saw this. So the Associated Press shared this video of nature being a real mafia. Here are a bunch of cows that are totally trapped on just a small piece of land. So New Zealand experienced a 7.8 magnitude earthquake. What? And these three clowns, they're clowns, oh my God, clowns are on my mind now. These three clow cows are on this small patch of land that they managed to survive on throughout this whole tragedy. So you guys can check out that full video for yourself. That is all of our trending YouTube vids today. But again, be part of the conversation. Comment at us. We'll be sure to share whatever you're saying right now. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel here at The Stream TV. Snapchat-tastic. Is it so wrong that I get excited every morning when I wake up to see which filter Snapchat has provided me with for the day? It probably says something about me, but you know what? Let's say something about Daily Mail. So Snapchat has this incredible discover feature at the top of the app, and you can see what a bunch of different publications have been sharing. So this one from Daily Mail is about drug lords, everyone's favorite. Check out these cats. So there is an entire sanctuary dedicated to rehabilitating tigers, lions, and jaguars that were formerly owned by drug lords. Now, on average, these drug lords will buy the cats for about $1,000, and they can only keep them for about two months because they get caught by the law, and this sanctuary takes them in. So they probably can't do as much cocaine as they're used to, but at least they're well fed. Now, our next story on Snapchat comes from Mashable, and they reported on a male underwear company called Spartan Briefs. Now, these underwear are said to help keep your man bit safe from radiation using a certain electromagnetic shield to protect your balls. So uh, make sure you go buy a pair, guys, because it's 2016, and you're keeping your phone in your pocket, and I want all of you to be fertile as hell. Next up, brought to you by Brother on Snapchat, Oh, let's, how about a little Q&A, you guys? So what do you think is the number one most searched term on Pornhub? Is it A, stepmoms, B, threesomes, C, milfs, or D, lesbians? Well, it should come as a shock, hopefully it should come as a shock, that it's stepmoms. Apparently everyone is looking up stepmoms on Pornhub. Super creepy. And this story, our last Snapchat story, is not so creepy, brought to you by Vice. Super fascinating, a group of 21 kids are suing the government. They're suing President Obama, the fossil fuel industry, and other federal agencies with violating their constitutional rights by declining to take action against climate change. So their case has actually been deemed valid by the U.S. District Judge, and uh, all I have to say is good luck, kids, because I check out who's now in office. Not sure he cares the most about the environment, but I care about you. So keep your momentum, kids. Maybe you'll make a change. Well, for some behind the scenes who and Danny on Snapchat to see Zeus and I with dog filters or deer filters on our face, make sure you give us a follow on the friendly ghost at the Stream TV. No, I don't know if you guys know.
know, but humans these days have very short attention spans. However, Reddit is one of the social media platforms that people tend to spend the most amount of time on. On average, 13 minutes per visit, which actually says a lot about people. So super exciting stuff for Reddit, and it's probably because they share stories like this. Pack your bags, kids, we're moving to Hawaii, because Hawaii is apparently considering decriminalizing all drugs. What? Now, that doesn't exactly mean that the drugs will become legal, but just 20 days prior to convening uh, their 2017 legislative session, a bunch of people submitted testimonies in support of Hawaii decriminalizing all drugs. Now, this is following Portugal's decriminalization policy, which is not perfect, but it is a precedent to show that doing this type of lawmaking can actually have its benefits. So I think that's super great. And again, I am moving in one minute, you guys. Next up, <laughs> this is so delicious. China has had to block several websites from searching for people, uh, allowing people to search for Fatty Kim the Third. Now, apparently, Kim Jong Un, the North Korean leader right now, is overweight, and there has been a endearing nickname for him going around the internet called Fatty Kim Third Fatty and uh, he's not too happy about it. So he has blocked a ton of Chinese websites from calling him anything but General Kim, and I feel like you of all people need to be a little less sensitive, fatty. Now our next story on Reddit, super exciting news for Lin-Manuel Miranda. He was of course our lead dude in Hamilton. Well, we have just heard that he is starting up a partnership with Disney, you guys. Big news, he is filming the studio sequel to Mary Poppins, starring Emily Blunt, which I could not be more stoked about, and he left his Broadway phenomenon, Hamilton in July, and has been very busy ever since. Now, his participation exactly is still being worked out, but you can expect to see his name in a ton of Disney credits coming your way. And you know what's also coming your way? Is who is talking about this on Reddit? Zeus, I would love to hear who is talking about Lin-Manuel over on Reddit. Well, Brooke, we have a lot of people talking about it, a lot of fans. Uh, let's look at some of these usernames that you guys made up. All right, uh, one, needed qualifications. Qualifications spelled with a K. So you went to Everest, good job. Hometown Gypsy, shout out to you. Uh, Danulus, shout out to you. Uh, not so salty, I kind of like that one. It probably means that you're salty though. But the last one, we have a comment from Blue Box Bandit. Blue Box Bandit said, I don't know why, but I ended up following him on Facebook. He is so damn full of affirmation, I might delete the rest of my friends. <laughs> well, you sound like a supporter, don't jack him off yet, but a simple like on all of his posts, I'm sure will be substantial. Thank you very much, Brooke. Back to you, Miss Brooks. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for that, Zeus, and thank you, the users of Reddit. Well, if we missed your comment, then make sure you find us over on Reddit and let us know what you wanted to say about this story. And here is our last Reddit story for you guys today, that Steve Carell is in talks to join Minecraft, the movie, which is going to hit theaters in 2019. So you still have a little bit of time to wait, but great and exciting news for all of you Minecraft fans. Now the game came out in 2009, so this is 10 years later, and everyone seems to really love this stuff. So um, Carell was most recently seen in Woody Allen's Cafe Society. If you ask me, it's a little bit different of tone than uh, Minecraft is likely going to be, but still exciting news nevertheless. Well, 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 my friends, that is all of what we had to share with you from across the World Wide Web today. But what are we missing? What were your favorite trending stories? And where are you talking about them? I'd love to hear from you across all of your social media platforms. You can find us at The Stream TV. And until next time, friends, that is a stream off. Hootie hoo, woo woo, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. While you're here, give this video a like, a share, a kiss, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on all the freshest vids coming to you daily.